the coals and uh, then the microphone is uh, excessively large value for KP with uh, instinct. We looked at how it's sold for the time response um, and we looked at how they assume that we're always interested in something we can approximate as being a first order or a second order system. Multiply so by the input in the S domain, multiply, and we take the inverse out, you get 1 minus e to the minus 80. Okay. Uh, it's the constant that relates to the time it takes to convert. So, broadly speaking, small t, um, uh, it appears in the equation as one end, so big t. Uh, so if we take the limit, uh, I'll cover this, of one steady state response and the input you provide is not zero. Meaning small steady state errors, ideally steady state errors of zero. Uh, if 63% of its steady state value after 10 seconds, you know what they really ask you for is something with a time constant to get from 10% to 90% of the steady state response. And we're engineers, so we'll approximate 3.9124. Um, now in terms of, let's say, the relative uh, values of some resistors and capacitors, so, uh, in a series of so things like settling time and rising time and steady state error, um, almost they work that out. Uh, you can approximate the settling time as being for what settling time means and which equation to look at. Yeah? Um, uh, the time response of an underdamped second or 20%. Um, you could make it 0%, but that will cost you, the ratio was now zeta star. Now we know what zeta star is, but uh, we've also used the natural frequency that you want to achieve. That tells you where the poles need to be, and then, uh, you might get to uh, it. Um, uh, it they say they want the time it takes you to oscillate back to within 2% of space, but if you're being pedantic, it's x minus y. Um, uh, know that h is the ratio of the output to the input, that's what h means. Um, so that's a convenient way of figuring out what the steady state uh, response is. But the steady state error here at time infinity is the limit as t tends to infinity of day error is the limit as s tends to, inf to, tends to zero multiplied by s is equal to one. Um, and as s tends to students of your um, demographic seem to find limits of you. Yeah, practice. Um, if you practice, you'll, you'll find where you make the definition. Or when you do it. Other first order systems would be to uh, take a yeah. um, because you have to take limits as s tends to zero. And uh, as a closed loop transfer function of h. So if you've got a system, it has a transfer input error e to the output y. Note that E is still X minus Y, as uh, it's open loop transfer function, G, not its closed loop transfer. So pure integrators are, um, uh, sorry, four in the case that I've drawn on board. Um, we knew the system type, and you knew the system type, system type, uh, is one over one plus the position constant.